Right, Capcom. We need to go from the beginning, though. We need to talk about what was the first Final Fantasy you played. Are we just going straight into Final Fantasy? I think so. Legit, mine was probably. It has to be seven. Yeah, I didn't play three before seven. Yeah, because I don't think anything was over. I think, I think eight, eight was even out when we played seven. I think I bought seven because you and maybe one other person were telling me about it. I, I played seven originally um, at my uncle Tony's house when I was well young when Tekken 2 was out. Wow. He, he had he had Tekken 2. This is the only games he had Tomb Raider 2. Tomb Raider 2. So you jumped off the yeah, Great Wall of China and killed yourself. Literally, he had Tomb Raider 2, he had Tekken 2, Tekken 1. Second two, he didn't have a fucking clue what Final Fantasy Seven was about. <laughs> because he no was, one did. Listen, like, and I remember putting it on and thinking, this isn't playing like any other game ever. Yeah. Like, it wasn't the concept was not normal. You had beat 'em ups. Yeah, was, yeah, was, yeah, yeah. Just two people standing in front of each other and just. Uh, and and then you had a third person, like a like a Tomb Raider game. Well, platformer, yeah. What else did you fucking have? Yeah, and then there's side scrollers you had. Then this thing with rendered backgrounds and blocky characters comes out and. I don't know, because I think we obviously got it late, didn't we? When did it come out in 97 or No, it was 95. Was it 95? I think it was right at the beginning of the lifespan of the final, uh, the, the PlayStation. Because it was one of those things where we got it, it, it shouldn't have come out over here. Yeah, 97. Oh, so it was 97. So right at the start of 97, it was released, but that might have been in Japan for all I know. It was on PC as well. Remember those? Oh, I don't know. Well. I, yeah. There was a shop in uh, Sutton that sold the PC. You know what, I even remember where I got this from. It was that place that was in uh, Stone Cot Hill. Yeah, Game Exchange. That was where I got this from. Well, Final Fantasy VII. Yeah, and I walked in there, and I'd never seen something that has three discs before. Fat case like that. Yeah, three di- Was it three or four for seven? It was three for seven. Yeah, three discs, and I was like, what the, f- what the fuck is this? The concept was, uh, it wasn't something we'd ever seen before. No. It, it threw me off, and I don't know if there was ever games prior to that that kind of existed. I don't know whether Final Fantasy was like a first of its kind. Like, was it the original multi-disc game? Or, it was definitely the most was streamlined Japan, Yeah, with Japan churning out games like that already, we just didn't know that. We, that's this is their first attempt at Yeah, they've, they've, they've had so many things uh, that we probably have no idea about, but I'm pretty sure this is the first one that I ever had that had multi-disc. Mm. And it was one of those things where you put it on, and you're like, yeah, okay, I have no idea what's going on. There's these weird characters, really shit graphics, but at the time, did we think they were good? I can't remember. Well, I did. Because you got to think, we were what? The pre, pre-rendered backgrounds for me. Like, the pre-rendered backgrounds are banging, but then you've just got this little block I, thing. I, I even can play, the thing is, I can even play it now and it doesn't phase me. No. It's really well, hard. You've got the nostalgia it. now. Yeah, but I haven't got, you know, you have these two types. You have the nostalgia that you think and you grow into it and you're like, fuck, this doesn't mean anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I can remember it for what it is and when I play it now, I still find it charming. Like, okay, I, like fine. I, said, I just played Final Fantasy IX and Yannicka would come in the house and she was like, what the fuck's up with the graphics? And I was looking at it like, these graphics are beautiful. But imagine I, if you I, were a kid, like growing up nowadays, playing yeah, all of these but, incredible but the funny things. Thing is, like, it didn't phase me at all because I found the, what was charming is the graphics. That it adds to the story. But we had no, we had no op- other option when we were No, finished. no, but now I find it actually adds. I find it makes it feel more um, magical because the designs and the way that everything looks. And it's probably because nothing like that can be made anymore because everything they is made high they definition. They just won't make stuff. nothing like that anymore. Everything has to be too realistic. Yeah. But, but, but what we was just saying about the fact that when you first get out of the main town, you spend, I mean, as a kid, I must have spent 15 hours, well, maybe maybe more, more in the how opening time, how many times area. Did you die? How many times did oh. you not realise that what Materia does? How many times did I get stuck trying to find the women's clothing? Equipped in fucking equipment. Yeah. Not being sure. It was so, ridiculous. Uh, and then you finally do this amazing, when you see the FMV of you going down the stairs on the bike and everything. Yeah, you climb to, you get to the top of Shinra. Yeah. You do all the Shinra stuff. You, you escape Shinra building on your bike. You do the whole road scene where it's like Road Rash 3D. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Road Rash. It is. Exactly. <laughs> like, like, literally knocking people off their bikes. And then you get to the end and you find you the, road, the road... Uh, something. It's like some sort of, I can't remember his name. I name now. I need to know the name. I'm going to Road the name. Oh, I would like to know. I don't know why I think it's the Road Runner. Name. Road Runner? Yeah, like the same as the, the, the animal. I don't know why I believe it's that. At the end of Shinra. Yeah, so it's like this one's final boss, I think it's, it's Is that like, the end of this one? No, this one actually ends when you fight Genova Buff. Because the Genova's. Is that on the boat? Yes. I think it's like that at all time. Yeah, I think you're right. Because I'm sure Genova's kind of always came close to this game. It's kind of like your foreshadowing of the end of the Motorball. 
mobile okay what a stupid name yeah, <laughs> but I remember after doing that thing as a kid you're all pumped up you're like oh oh my god is this oh, and everything like that and then you then you beat it and then you're in this quite literally open world and Midgar's the size of you well you just all of a sudden you didn't realise there was something called a world map yeah the world map was probably one of the best features in the game like, and, many, and the subsequent ones as well. How many people kicked off about world map disappearing when Final Fantasy 10 came when out? When 10 came out, because they turned it into... I mean, in all fairness, I get it. You when you, when you start having better graphics, you can't have a little man uh, running around. What was, it, what was it that made a world map feel so... It was just vast. It was the size of it, wasn't it? Did it? Did it? But do you think that's a good way to traverse a uh, place? Do Back you, then, absolutely. But do you... Because even now, like... I don't get bored of a world map as much as I get bored of If you of enjoy the traversal. Yeah, like if I'm in a linear game like 10, having to backtrack that way for me would be a lot worse. That's why they gave you the airship. Which, but then that took away everything. Yeah, absolutely. But like you say about traversal, so that Spider-Man game that came out on the PS4, yeah. I don't get, you can fast travel, they give you the option. But you don't want it. I've never done it. Well, I did it once. Yeah, because that's just a square, that's an open level. That's what I'm saying. It's not like But the swinging game. is fun. Like, so they've made the traversal yeah. the fun side That's of it. That's the thing, they need to do that with Final Fantasy somehow. Well, you're swinging around. I suppose Final Fantasy XV was quite fun to travel. Yeah, you had the car and then eventually the plane. They, they were kind of getting there in a sense. Like, if you look at Final Fantasy X versus XV, oh, God. what one do you enjoy traversing? Oh, XV was fun. So, XV, although it's. XV is more close to what was fun about Seven, even though it's. Well, they even included the Seven's music. Did. You could yeah. buy it in the shop the Final Fantasy VII music yeah, all, and then have that on your iPod yeah, or whatever. Seven, eight, nine, nine, yeah, ten, man, all of them. But that was a nice touch. So, like, what, what I want to know is like, what do you think makes the perfect Final Fantasy, and do you think that they're better now or worse? Nowadays, so I can't knock fifteen. I put seventy hours into that straight, well, yeah. and I haven't done that since I was a kid. Because that's yeah, the yeah. thing, I can't put the amount of time that I used to be able to put into games the way I do now. Yeah, same. So I prefer now short burst things because pick up and plays. Yeah, because I'm older and I can't do anything else. But did you find a fifteen? You could do maybe two hours on it, put it down. Two hours. On no, I've done more than that. So you were like, did you? I was. I turned into a child again, where I'd be standing up late yeah. to yeah. do as much as I can to try and do this, do that. Because 15 was extremely linear after a certain point. Yeah, there was a lot of, it was quite joyful in the earlier stages. Yes. And you, when you're guessing what was, you haven't seen the whole map, mm. you're, you're kind of still in the unassuming position yeah. of unknowing. Especially like, when you're running into enemies that are 20 times stronger yeah, than you. Yeah, and, and you kind of haven't, you know you haven't explored everywhere. You yeah. find new dungeons. Yeah. Like the very first time you go in, I think it's Yojimbo or one of them things, where he's like level 89 and you're oh, level yeah. 10. The Yojimbo is a regular enemy. Yeah, season, and he just goes, no, true. and then just kills you. It's like, oh, one, okay. You fight one in the factory, didn't you? Yes, I think that might be what I'm talking about. Yeah, but yeah that, really, that was... One of the beast missions, the... Uh... The hunts, yeah. See, that was one of those things. The hunt missions on that, so every game has to have the same sort of formula. Yeah. You have to be given something to go and do. Then you main, go and do a main it. quest. Yeah, and then you do other little side bits. So if the side bits are not fun... I lose interest very quickly because yeah. I'm one of those people especially in the Final Fantasy game where I go right so the recommended level to go in here is 24 I want to be 50 yeah. I want to go and do everything else and then blitz through the yeah, single yeah, player yeah, one yeah, yeah. If, those, if those side quests that's are not fun I lose interest the side quests you want to use in a way to level yourself up yes that's all the only reason I do them yeah. I, I literally do them to get more better gear to then make the story easier I think um, do you think it delivered in side quests Final Fantasy 15 do you think it did a good job of that I think it did to a degree like, do you think the hunt? The hunts were fun. The hunts were fun because you knew you were going to go and fight, even though it was repetitive. For example, like Adam Antoys. Ugh. Ugh. Like, just, it was quite good to see, even if it wasn't the greatest. Fun when that out. thing came out of the ground, I was like, I ran. I was like, cool. That's what's that. It's like that, is it? I ran like fuck. Yeah. I got in the car <laughs> and just bailed <laughs> away. Yeah. And then the mission ended. Yeah. It was yeah. like you are a puss, and you just see the thing just get down in the ground again. Yeah. But then you see people on YouTube beating that thing in four minutes. I don't know, but they're obviously... Uh, they know what they're doing. Yeah, but as a casual player, Final 15 was fun. Let's, 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 go, let's dwell into some stories now. Then. Let's, let's, let's yeah, go on. Let's look at the story of... What we can remember. I, I remember the story of pretty much all of them from 7 to 15. Despite Final 14. Yeah, bar the 14, 12. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't really do Zodiac Age because I, I started playing it, but I didn't finish it, but you know you did. Yes. Um, but 
I'm going back now. I'm trying to think what story did I think was actually the most compelling. Well, you recently... Have, I've recently played Nine, and yeah. I feel very drawn to that. Yes, because back when we were kids, you'd done Nine, oh, I led it to you, and I'm pretty sure you spent three days it was non-stop. A, it, was a, it was a three to four day binge. I don't and you just done it. I, I sat on a... Like I said, I was in my conservatory, which was the room where I had my PlayStation at the time, and I just sat on a fucking uh, deck chair, like a sun lounger, with literally a quilt over me. <laughs> so I didn't eat, I didn't drink, I didn't do anything. I didn't shit or piss. It's just, I'm staying here until it's done. And I played for it so quickly that I didn't absorb the story. I just enjoyed the gameplay. So I played it yeah. purely for gameplay. So playing it for the second time now that you're in... It was the story. Yes. And I, and I absorbed the story a lot more this time around. And you enjoyed it? Loved it. I found it to be uh, the most lessonful. It was it was talking okay. less about people. Yeah, yeah all right, life, fine. Purpose. Because they they've always they've always got like a, a tone, don't they? Each, there's there's each an underlying message game. in everything. Yeah. Game. What would you say Sevens is? Sevens is just basically real world. It's basically like look after the planet. It, it, oh, okay. The yeah, most important sense. lesson in Seven is 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 mankind's um, disrespect towards home, and like that it needs to be um, something that has to change. Otherwise yeah, yeah, the world yeah. Will come to an end. It's just very real. Very raw. And Sephiroth is just basically a... What, Sephiroth's just like... A personifica- a personification of everything. Oh, I bring the end because you lot aren't looking after this planet. Like, yeah, yeah, Not yeah. that that was his, re- his reason, but... But um, that's the but underlying... But that is the outcome of yeah, what it will be. Yeah, that's the metaphor um, that he is. He's because you've been mistreating, this thing's came. Yeah. And uh, that, that game for me is very valuable in the sense of if you were to take it in for what it is and just truly look at it on a base level... It kind of does reflect mankind. Oh God, no! It's amazing, especially nowadays. Using, like, using, Jesus. using a Mako and what it is, it's the life's energy. Yeah, you, you could say that's taking fossil fuels. Yeah, and yeah, you're just sucking up, sucking up, yeah. sucking up, and you're leaving the planet with nothing. Yeah, and that, and that game for me kind of made me realise things that I took for granted and I wouldn't have t- considered. When you're a kid, you don't give a shit about that. No, and that was a way to actually kind of get educated on it young. Mm-hmm. And you do realise, shit, things do have a lifespan. Mm-hmm. Um, Obviously, there's all the individual character stories about strength and like evolution in themselves and being kind of yourself. But it and didn't, I don't think yourself. it focused on that as much as it focused on the grand scheme. No, the whole thing, the opening yeah. Midgar section was all about the destruction of the planet. The yeah. entire resistance thing, their world was Midgar. Yeah. The same as you as a player, the entire world is set in this one place, which is Midgar. Mm-hmm. And that's, you've got the Mako reactors, everything's dark, it's dingy, there's slums. Yeah. It's very. It hits home very hard. Now you're it feels like the creators of the game probably had as their own opinion put into play. Oh, that's a fucking movie. The um, obviously there's so much going on in Seven in regards to like Mako being used to create like super soldiers. And, yes, but again, that's all secondary to the main. That's part. the fantasy part. Of it, yeah, isn't it? yeah, suppose. that's just like filling the gaps. Yes, I don't think that was really fundamentally that important. It's, it drives story. It it, 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 it it gave Sephiroth purpose. Yes, obviously, what from let's go into the story and said Sephiroth obviously was the son of uh, Hojo and um, the ancient, uh, not the ancient um, shit, uh, Lucy Lucretia, that was who the was yeah. originally the girl, the person that. Vincent loved. I was just about to say, because she'd be on the waterfall. Yeah, so Vincent loved Lucretia, but Lucretia loved Hojo, and Hojo and her had a baby, and they injected it with cells from uh, Genova no, 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 while no. it was still in the womb. The fact that you can remember this, yeah. dude, is unreal. So that, that's what it's Sephiroth. Sephiroth had the Genova cells implanted him from, and, Sef- and Genova was an entity from another planet that was basically like a virus. She would come and shapeshift into mm. whatever the planet has, life forms, and then spread disease and that's why Sephiroth loses his shit because he, he realises that he's not special well he gets confused well that. he reads books and he believes that he's a Sephiroth oh because he's in but what's the name of that city Nibblehead Nibblehead because he's down in the fucking basement he miscalculates that he's an ancient for the first yes he thinks that he's he's one of the last ancients on the planet and has the right to the planet yes and the ancients are basically they're etc. The and they're similar to humans. Etc. That was what it was. Yeah. And they were the enemy. Yeah, they were. Yeah, they, yeah. They, when Genova landed, it was down to the etc. to seal Genova away. Mm. And they managed to do it in the North Cave. North yes. Cave. Right. Okay. Yeah. So, and then obviously Shinra found Genova at some point on one of the excavations of any sorts to mm. find Mako and kept the body in. And it's like using it and blah blah blah. I think it's researching or using our cells to the cells, yeah. experiment. To power with. things and people and so yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like, like we do it as a human as humanity yeah. does. I think that's why when you find Genova, if you notice when you first look in that kind of thing that she's in, this in like the, the cell, yeah. She looks like a woman, but not quite. 
Well, he's got a woman face, she's like mask on, doesn't she? But that's because she's probably mid, uh, mid transformation into assimilating the form of a human. Mm. But she can literally, like, she's a shape. Well, then when you fight her, and every she's single time you fight her, she's always saying weird. Yeah, she's her normal form is obviously that. Well, a version but, of that, yeah. But uh, she can assimilate human form. Because there, there's like, do you know, with death, birth. There's birth. Uh, revival? Or faith? I've got her birth, life, death. Birth, life, yeah. Yeah, like yeah, that. and then synthesis. That was it. Yeah, yeah. Synthesis yeah. is the one, the ball one you fight. Yeah, it's an algae cover. Is that the one you fight in the Temple of the Ancients? Mm. Synthesis is the round you fight in Crater. Ah, right, right the end. It looks like the thing from, um, did you ever play, uh, shit. What was the game that was released on PS3 as a launch game? And it was the one about uh, aliens. Uh, aliens? Yeah, it's a first person shooter and I liked it. Fuck. Can't help you do. Hale. Hale was the main person. <laughs> oh, shit. Was it a launch title for PlayStation? The Chimera and the Enemy. It was a launch title? Yeah, a launch title for the PlayStation. It was like Killzone, but it wasn't Killzone, and I'm getting confused. Launch title with Chimera? Yeah. The Resistance, Fall Resistance, of Man? Resistance, yes, Fall of Man. That's a PlayStation. Exactly. So, on Resistance, I know the second one, there was, uh, one of the people was infected by the Chimera virus and became this floating ball that could do telekinesis, and he looked just like Genova Synthesis. Oh, so they obviously pulled it from that. Yeah, it was a very similar look. Oh, that was 2006. Yeah, yeah that came out. That um, was raw. So yeah, like seven as a story, I think. I think seven hits home because it, of it lacked. It, when you play other ones, it lacked a little bit of fantastical. What seven did? A little bit. Seven was very. Ten, it had the temple and it had like yeah, it the airships and stuff, doesn't it? But it it was almost too real. Okay. A little bit like how yeah, I, all right, fine. How I feel about. Eight in ways. Yeah, so segueing on to eight. Now, eight was my personal favourite as a kid. You fucking love eight. I haven't replayed it because it hasn't come out yet. Another couple of weeks and it will. But I remember loving eight the most and I couldn't tell you why. I'm waiting to see it again. I know that I loved eight because for some reason Just the story of... I mean, it might be being a child and seeing the fact that the graphics that people actually look like people now. That was actually, a big thing back then. Yeah, you still had the rendered backgrounds. But then yeah. the characters looked like they actually had they humanoid had the, shapes. Great scale. Yes, yeah. you didn't have like giant Popeye arms and yeah, a, yeah. a head like Rayman or something yeah. like that. Yeah. But the first disc, because I think eight was four discs. Eight was four. So the first disc of eight is still to this day one of my favourite gaming experiences. It ended really good. It had the idea. Um, the idea doing and, it. And, and there was that that there's that kind of. Uh, Theory that the end of the first disc, everything after didn't actually happen. It's yes, because like, he died. Yeah, it's all school's, school's dream. Whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Yeah, but but yeah. that, that no, whatever. Prefer, no, but whatever. Whatever. You, you have your own outcome. Because then they uh, start getting weird by saying that idea used to be your carer. Idea was your original, yeah, nanny. The matron, I think they called. And her, you were right? all, all of your characters were in that everyone, orphanage, all together. orphanage together. which is why it's very far fetched because it's like all of these. It is far fetched, but is it not ultimately Ultimatio made it that way to try and compress time? But I've never got that. That's why I want to play it again. Because I need never, to get the story when I was a kid. This level. Again, the first disc was wicked. You got the gardens. Yeah. You know, they're training Galvedia soldiers. Galadia and Balan Garden, and then there's the one that she goes to terror or something like that. Yeah. One that gets bombed yeah. by the um, the missile place and everything like that. Everything about it, I fucking loved I, I don't know why you had remember the, the plane the bit when you got hijacked the train yeah, that, you fight the fake um, the bio the fake president, president yeah, and then he, he goes zombie you can just chuck a phoenix down and kill him instantly yeah, yeah. fuck you because yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I know that because I used to have the guides yeah, 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 the thick box. I used to have the thick box at every single Final Fantasy game and to this day I still do yeah, I bought the 15 one they're just lovely to look up oh they were just they were awesome I even bought it for bloody Metal Gear Solid and everything like that but it was just 8 resonated with me on a way that I cannot yet say I have no idea why, but I just absolutely I liked it. It's just been the right time. Maybe it was. Maybe I was right old. time when you were as aware. Yes. More aware of being able to take I love story. the summons on it. The GFs, as they were called. GFs, Guardian Forces. forces. Yeah. yeah, they were wicked because they looked bad. I was like, if it used to... Like, the very first one you get you smashes a giant meteor you down onto people. Ifrit is your first quest. Yes. To, see, to yes. become seed. To become seed. It's like your passing exam or something. 
You can go into the garden and you can, with Christus and you can fight a fuck. I don't that's her name. T Rex. The cheap would just eats you and it's like, cool, right, great. I ain't gonna fuck with him anymore. Then you get like Diablos from the magic lamp. What the fuck is you all that? You have to inspect, inspect, inspect the lamp. Inspect the lamp, then you fight, fight Diablos who just fucks you up. Yeah. Because at that if you point, don't know how to deal with Demi. Yeah, so. Demi would just fucks you. Just, like, Demi's all based on like, percentages. Isn't takes it? A quarter, Demi takes a quarter of your health, then Gravager takes three quarters or something stupid like that. And then he, he just does a physical attack. And then you dead. He looked cool. He was badass looking, but that's what I'm saying, because the, the summons then and the way the characters look in battle, I, I preferred. Yeah. The music for Seven was better, the battle music. Yeah, Seven, you can never do an end, and an end, boss fight. Yeah, was the, yes, it, it, was, it was always sick. But then again, I haven't played Eight in a long, long time, and I've kind of forgotten it. I think Eight will um, 